In the previous video, we discussed about the accessory proteins of actin cytoskeleton system. And now in this video, we'll be discussing about the accessory proteins of microtubule cytoskeleton system, or you can say microtubule associated proteins. Here in this diagram, we can see the microtubule filament having minus and plus end. The microtubule filament is made up of dimers, what we call as alpha beta tubulin dimers. Now the first major accessory protein in microtubule cytoskeleton system is the gamma TURC, an acronym for gamma tubulin ring complex. TURC. This complex protein nucleates assembly and remains associated with the minus end. As we can see in this diagram, the ring complex remains associated with the minus end. The second protein is the stathmin protein. It binds the subunits and prevents assembly. We see in this diagram the alpha beta tubulin dimers are bound by the stathmin protein, thus preventing assembly. Then we have plus TIPS proteins or plus TIPS protein that are called the plus end tracking proteins. This protein remains associated with growing plus end and links them to the other structures like membrane as shown in the diagram. Now getting to the depolymerizing proteins like kinesin 13. Kinesin 13 it enhances disassembly at plus end which has been shown in the diagram where it binds to the plus end and gets off the dimers from microtubule. Then we have catenin microtubule associated protein. This catenin protein severs the microtubules into multiple parts and itself remains associated with the plus end as shown in the diagram. Now let's see some stabilizing proteins like MAPS microtubule associated protein which stabilizes the tubules by binding along sides. And another stabilizing protein is the XMAP215, which stabilizes the plus end of microtubule. Apart from these proteins, we also have cross-linking proteins for microtubule cytoskeleton system. First, we have the tau protein. This tau protein densely cross-links the microtubules as shown in the diagram. And remember, if these tau proteins are excessively phosphorylated, it can lead to neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's disease, where affected persons contain strange tangled filaments called the neurofibrillary tangles. Then we have MAP2 proteins, which also cross-links the microtubules, but here we see it packs them loosely. And then there is palectin protein, which links the microtubules with the intermediate filaments, like palectin links microtubules with neurofilaments. So this is the general overview of microtubule associated proteins or accessory proteins of microtubule cytoskeleton system. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe this channel. Thanks.